Hello and what is up everybody, Cliff B here once again playing some more, a bit of everything. Where I last left off in, in the interim, I tried to make a turbine reactor. And failed horribly. So even though this is like a little bit of a Chinese turbine reactor, as you can see, it's actually producing less power than my nuclear um, tower did. That's over there. And the reason why is because this isn't big enough to really produce steam on mass. It can only produce 120. So that's why I decided in the interest of being able to craft faster, I'll make this. <laughs> yes, look at it. It's going to be a bigger reactor. It's going to be more efficient. And best of all, I'm going to be cooling this with gelid cryotium. Now, here's the thing. I need these bliss rods to get this bliss powder because while I can make it using snowballing experience, that's not very good for me. Because they'll cost way too much. So what I'm gonna do is instead just gonna go ahead and grab this Solian dagger. Just gonna go ahead and head into the deep dark, kill some zombies, and hopefully I'll get some zombie chunks and lots of them. Okay. Also, I try to look into like the interdimensional um, deep dark portal home. There we go. I try to look into like interdimensionals, like um. Portals, unfortunately, not gonna work. So, problem with that is, for some reason, the interdimensional upgrade for refined storage is just like its recipe is not there. It's not active. And I tried looking into the config. It's not within the config. So I think it's something in the mod pack itself where that was simply just removed. And I could probably try to um, change the mod pack and, like, you know. Um, get a copy of Refined Storage that has that. Because don't get me wrong, I would love to have, you know, I would love to be able to have, like, a digital miner that would work here, but unfortunately, I don't have the thing. Damn it, you. And did they drop a chunk? No. So if you're wondering why I'm back here, it's because this dimension can spawn creatures all the time. It's incredibly dark. That's this whole entire thing. Who the fuck shot me? I hate when somebody shoots me. Did you give me a chunk? Nope, you didn't. This guy's like, ha ha, I'm gonna shoot you while you have your weak old dagger that can barely do damage. Like, fuck you. I'm only using this because I need to get chunks. If I can get chunks, I can make like things like wither seeds, skeleton seeds, and blitz seeds that I'm gonna need. But the only problem is those chunks are like very low, even with this like max fortune on it. Which, oh! Was talking shit and I got a chunk. Now the only thing is I need more of that. Now, I know in X Requiem, there is a thing that allows you to copy basically anything as long as, um, make, like, a special book for it. Damn it. Well, I'm not gonna get a fucking... Ah, stop shooting me. Come here. Come into the light. What are you gonna do, huh? Nothing. You know what? I don't even care about you. Fuck off. Don't even care. Don't even give half a damn. About you. I want a skeleton. I mean, not a skeleton. I want zombies. Give me zombies. Where's the zombies at? I wonder if I can go to the nether and get them off of pigments. Like, will pigments drop? Um, chunks? Oh, fuck you. Why are you pissed off, Enderman? I even attack you. Or look at you. And you're like, I'm pissed off, man. I'm just pissed off. I'm having a really bad day. I'm gonna take it out on you because I'm pissed off. It's like, uh, fuck off, Enderman. I'm pissed off at you for not dropping your damn head, you stupid-ass Enderman bitch. Don't worry, you're gonna be pissed off at me. 
Where are the zombies at? Yo, zombie. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta find your way to me. Are you done? Do you want to get smacked the fuck up again? Because I'm really getting tired of your teleportation shit. Like, I'm going to walk towards you and then I'm going to teleport away. Because I'm a scared ass little bitch. Fuck you! Like me. You lucky this dagger is shit, man. I kill you in one hit. Okay, that's... Oh, that's just straight up an experience chunk. Ooh, I can make experience, um... So I can make experience seeds with that. With that, I can make, like, lots of experience. Which allows me to make snowballs into blitz powder. And with snowballs, I can just use the glistic, um... There's, like, a machine you can use to make snowballs. And it just takes water and energy to do so. Mate, can you stop already? It's like I'm flying. Oh, look. Angry zombies are here. Oh, my gosh. Can you fuck off already? Oh, my gosh. You angry zombies don't even drop the chunks that I need. This guy keeps shooting me with his fucking... Oh, I'm a ranger, so I have a shit ton of knockback on my fucking bow. Oh my gosh, mate. Stop it. Um, ooh, two more experience chunks and three more zombie chunks. Let's go. I mean, one more zombie chunk. I mean, two more zombie chunks and one more experience chunks. Got him backwards. What is up, Flock the Bird? How are you doing? I'm currently in the deep, deep dark. Um, do you have music on, right? Yeah, I can play, it just doesn't choose to play. I'm currently in the deep, deep, dark dimension to kill mobs so I can grab their chunks and make stuff out of their souls. Come on, mate. Can you drop some chunks? Did you drop some chunks? Why do they always get pants with, like, blast protection on them called man pants? I don't give a fuck about that. Throw this rotten flesh away, because I don't need it. Throw these brains away, I don't give a fuck. Throw the zombies wrecking things, I don't give a fuck about that. Any more zombies? Like, come on, mates. I'm inside your home turf. That's what she said. Wait, what? I'm confused about the pun there. Any more zombies? Like, any more for any more? Come on. I just need to kick your ass. But can you please come out of your hidey hole and fight me? Fight me, damn it! I need your chunks so I can make cool shit. And I was like, gosh darn it, that's all I need. That's it. Work your way over here, bitch. Get fooked, motherfucker. You can fook off as well. And there we go. Did they give me the chunks that I needed? Yes. Alright. So, four zombie chunks. I could change that to four wither chunks, and that will make, like, um, one wither seed. But unfortunately, I also need a lot more so I can make skeleton chunks. Because I'm going to need skeleton seeds. And I need to make blitz chunks so I can make blitz seeds. So I'm actually going to need eight of these things. Come on. You zombies supposedly have the highest drop rate of uh, these chunks. What was that? Uh, I think that was an experience chunk. Oh, I didn't realize the zombies dropped a carrot at one point. Nope. Uh, don't give a fuck. Come on, mates. Just come and fight you. Accept you death, you piece of shits. Like, these mobs have no honor, you know? I come in here. I come into their home, and I start killing them, and they don't come and attack in, like, full force or anything. Like, bunch of scared-ass bitches. Come on. 
where the hell are you at? See, this is where I wish I had Octofine Zoom, but Octofine doesn't work with this mod pack, so no Octofine Zoom. Also, I need to check why Interdimensional's um, upgrade's not working. Because I'd love to get that online so I can just have the digital miner mine out this dimension for his resources. Because I'm running a tab at low. What are you? Oh, you're a ranger zombie. It's like, fine, you can't even use that bow and arrow anyway. Did you drop anything worthwhile? Or was it just a brain? It was just a brain. Um, is there anything else that drops chunks? Let me check. Because technically I can use any chunks. So there's tier 6 chunks, there's tier 1, tier 2, all those I have to create. So there's experience chunks, then there's zombies. Ooh, I could kill like pigs, chickens, and whatnot, sheeps on mass, slimes would do it as well. Then creepers, spiders, rabbits, guardians, blades, gas, endermen. Wither, Blitz, Bloods, Buzzle. I mean, I do have a farm with a shit ton of animals there. If I can just, you know, mark a few of them, get all the chunks that I need. Like, that would be better than dealing with this creepy ass deep dark dimension. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Teleport back to home base. And then I'm just going to have to mark a few of the animals in the lovely pen here. And see if I can get chunks off of them. I think I can use any chunks and just convert them. Or does it specifically have to be like only zombie chunks can be converted into different types of chunks? Because it says blitz chunks requires this. Um, hmm. Hold on. Can I not do that? Um, what, uh, pig chunks. It's craftable, but... Oh fuck, I need zombie chunks. Damn it. The hell. So I do need the zombie chunks. I cannot use chunks from different creatures. Fuck. Do zombie pigments count? Like, can I make these chunks out of zombie pigments? Because it just says zombie chunks. Or can I guess just get the chunks that I need? Alright, I'm back in hell. And... Uh, come on! I know your pigments are mad because I just murked one of your friend. Like, I came to hell just to murk your friend. See, at least these zombie pigments have, like, some form of honor to, like, you know, attack the person who just came into their home turf and started killing them. Oh, yes, the zombie pigments do count! Yes! Then I'll farm you guys. It's like, not like you can hurt me or anything. Oh, yes. Give me those chunks that I need. Oh, yeah. How many do I have now? Eight of them. So that's enough for, like, two different types of seeds. I need more. Chunks is chunks. I'm about to slaughter them all. Come on. You guys aren't pissed? Boom, now you're fucking pissed. What, you was just like having fun here, doing absolutely nothing. You know, just standing around, probably having like a corporal meeting and whatnot, and I just come along and just start like slaughtering your friends. 
Nine of these things. Let's go. We'll use zombie pigments at. Fuck off, you damn blades. No one cares about you, okay? You let me drop the chunks that I need. What the fuck? Ouch. You know what? If y'all want to come around so I can just slaughter you all, that's fine with me. As long as you remember to drop your chunks. Alright. The fact that things sink into soul sand when they land on it, that is amazing. Um, I got one skeleton chunk. That's great. I apparently got a wither skull with just luck. Wow, kind of dark. What do you mean, kind of dark? Nothing dark about it. I need things, so I went to hell to get the things. Come on, get mad. Get mad. Did you drop a chunk? No. Come on. I need more of these things. I um, don't think you guys will give me what I need. Don't care about the blazes. Uh, zombie pigment, skeleton, and wither skeletons. Everything else can fuck off. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh shit! Well, there goes gold. I'm just gonna put this here, this here, and this here. What the hell do I need a bull for? So that way, if I get what I need, I'll instantly see it tick up a notch. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. Anything? Nope. Oh, with a chunk. Oh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, mates. Oh my gosh. Can you not? You know what I need to do? I need to get rid of those stupid, like, blaze lanterns. Because that's what keeps summoning these guys. It's like, I'm just too lazy. Oh, I got a blaze chunk. Yeah, let's get rid of you. There we go. Oh, it's not you. It's this thing that was doing it. Oh no, guys, look out, there's a bunch of blades. What am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so terrified. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Who's still alive? Oh my gosh, okay. Guys. It was a very difficult fight. I wasn't even sure how I survived that, but I kind of did. So can I get pause in chat for surviving that? Anything that I want slash care for? Nope. All I care for is the chunks. Everything else is some secondary nonsense. And I don't care for... don't care for... Run. But if I run now, I'll have no honor. I have to fight them for my honor. Come on. Come on. There we go. Anything in that pile that looks like something I want? Um, no, it looks like it's just a bottom of enchantment, some bones. Yeah, I'm not seeing the chunk, so. Fuck off, mate. Knock it off. Wither. I barely know her. Ah! 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 Although I will say, this is some nice music for soldering. Any chunks? Alright, it will go into the soul sand, because that thing died in the soul sand. Okay, good. I did get a chunk from that. Fuck, I just came out of nowhere and. Oh my gosh, can you fuck off me? Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. 
Oh, man. If there was just something that would kill, like, a wither, I mean, a fucking cube all in one go, because this just get annoying. It's like, oh, big one spawn, now you have to deal with all these, like, little things. It's like, no, fuck that shit. Here's what I'm gonna do. Pick off the pigments. Run away. Alright, fine. Don't move. Um, any chunks? Nah. Oh, God. Any chunks? Nah. Any chunks? Nah. Hey, can you guys do me a favor if you're gonna exist? Oh, they did drop chunks. It's just hard to see. Alright, so that's 11 chunks right there. So I can make one wither seed, one um, skeleton seed that I need. And one blitz seed that I need as well. Okay, I think I am good there. Alright, everything else is tertiary. Alright, well, time to say goodbye to the nether. Bye, nether. It was not really needed. I just need the things. Actually, let me see if I can get like a few more chunks first before I head out. Any more chunks for any more? Thank you. Glowstone, don't care about this. Don't care about it. Don't even know what you do with those within corpse. I just keep getting them on mass. Gas, can you do me a favor and stop moving? That would be nice. And then he despawns. Nice. Nice work, you stupid ass gas. Okay, you guys. Like, come on, you can't be having this. No, none of this. Alright. So let's go. So I have the things, the chunks, that I've been missing for so long that I now finally have. And the reason why I'm going to use those things is because those things are more reliable than just like the, um,. Oh, uh, thank you for contributing towards the stream versus viewers. But anyway, those chunks are going to be more reliable than the tier 6 C's because those tier 6 C's just do not grow. Like, I don't know what their tick rate is set to. I don't know where I can find a config for that. But holy fucking shit. Like, oh my gosh. Like, guys. When I say, like, the, um, the tier 6 don't grow, I mean they literally just do not grow at all. It's like, I'm going to go ahead, go up here to the farm. And it's like, uh, behold, my, um, where is it? Nether star seed still sitting right there. Zero percent. I have left this world running and it's not grown one iota. So I just like, I don't know what it takes to grow that damn thing. Okay. And frankly, I don't give a damn to learn what it takes to grow that thing. Because now I can put this in here, that in there, and that in there. Because thanks to my Solium Dagger, I finally got the chunks that I need. There we go. So I think I just need to cook these up to get like tier 1s, right? Let me see. A tier 1 is just a zombie chunk cooked. Alright, so let me go ahead and cook the zombie chunks. Once that's cooked, and there we go. 
just go ahead let those cook up I can put away the solving dagger don't need that anymore all right so now then let me go ahead and finally make the damn seeds that I need wizard seeds it's been a long time coming, but one of us is going down. So let me go ahead and make the wither seed. Now for the wither chunks. I need two wither skulls. Do I have that? Nope. Alright. So I need two of these. Because I make, need to make two wither chunks, right? Boom, boom, and there we go, that's two. So I have the tier three chunks, now I gotta make them tier four chunks. One, and of course I'm missing one. Gonna make 64 of these. Just have them on hand. Make life easier. There we go. Now then, can I finally make the tier twos? I mean, not that. One. Okay. And now I make them tier six. One, two, go, and now I make them into the withers. I don't have enough wither skulls, great. Um, do I have to go and execute some withers here? Ribs, got the ribs. Do I have any skulls? Skulls, I do. So if I do this and this, I'll make another wither skull. What about the souls? Only got two. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back to hell and separate a few of them from their heads. I love when I have to go back to hell to separate something from his head. Ah, oh, gosh. Darn it. The withers. It's nothing personal. I just really want to get these damn seeds. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's gonna be a thing. Oh! Well, that thing died. Awesome. Okay, where the hell are you, Withers? Uh, I don't need you. No, I don't need you. What I need is... There we go. So I'm gonna need you to die. And give me your skull. There we go. I'm also gonna need you to also die. And give me your skull. There we go. And that's all I need. So now I can go ahead, get the hell out of Dodge, and make my damn Wither Seeds. Alright, so now that I'm back, so I need to remember I need Wither Seed, I need Soul Sand Seeds. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of these things. I need skeleton seeds. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna move all my infirmium, like, change all my infirmium seeds to the tier 5. Because that's as high as that shit will go. Move them all to, like, that smaller garden that I made. And just have my all my wither essence and skeleton essence and stuff just you know unless 
hold on. What else can I use with that Wither Essence? Wither Essence, right? What are your uses? So I can use it to make Witherproof Glass, Witherproof Blocks, and Wither Skulls, but I need to Blink Skulls for that. Damn it. Fucking hell. I hate when they add grinds. Alright, right. everything's a fucking grind. Alright, weather seats, let's go. Can I make you? No, I can't. Why? Because I need to make these things first. One, two. There we go. That's done. This thing needs to be made. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Just make a shit ton of this fucking shit. Just make a shit ton of it. An absolute shit ton. Alright. And then make a shit ton of this. That should be enough. And then... Just make a shit ton of this stuff. Well, that's all I can make, so that's great. There we go. All that so I can make some damn seats. One fucking wither seat. That's all. Where's the seat got? You know what I'm gonna do? <coughs> Cough randomly, but no. Let me go up to here. Clear out this entire farm of everything here. Okay. Drop some mad frames. Luckily, these things will always drop their seats back. Alright, clear this all out. Gave me a bunch of seeds. I think I have enough water essence so I can make a uh, thing magic. The watering can, that's what I need the watering essence for. This way. Oh, I still had a lapis seed growing. Oops. My bad. That was my mistake there. Infirmium seeds, I'm gonna put you in there. Put you in there. Damn. So this is all I got of everything else, huh? Uh, let me see. Seeds. Should I have a lot more diamond seeds? I do have a lot more diamond seeds. Seeds I don't need. Those are terrified crafting seeds that I can't make. Die seeds. Alright, so let's make better Infirmium Seeds, shall we? Because everything requires Inferium. Just gonna go ahead and fill up my entire fucking inventory with these. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm not too worried about that. I know I just use a bunch of Inferium, but it's fine. Now, just convert this all into Intermedium. There we go. And then start converting this into Superium.
go and put that in there. And now then, can I make the tier four Inferium Seeds? 19 of them. All right. I know I said I was going to convert them to tier five, but I'm going to need more tier four seeds before I can do that. So now what I'm going to do is take all of this Inferium. Really, guys? You didn't hold that one bit of land for me? You didn't do that for me? Wow, that actually works out for me. All right, so that's that side. Plant it. This is back online. Now then, let me go ahead and make a plant interactor. Unless I got one. Nope, I don't got one. Plant interactor. Was it or washing plant bottling plant plant interactor? Still casing done. One, two, three. There you go. Plant interactor. And then I'm going to need a range upgrade. I mean, range add on three. Range add on tier three. So one, two, tier three. Boom. So now I'm going to go ahead, get back to the Cedo room. And I'm going to put this right here. And put this on it. And now it should be doing the home farm. Yes, good. And that'll take care of all my Inferium needs. Now I ain't going to have to put like a growth accelerator in there. Because this is going to be way too slow otherwise. But for now, that will do the trick. Now I have to get power over here. So for that, advance. Ooh, boy. I am running out of power. Wires. I'm actually running out. Oh my gosh, I actually ran out. Also gonna need a fluid and an item duck, now that I think about it. Um, item ducks. Because it needs to go from here. From here. All the way to there. Need to put a servo on it so it doesn't start accepting junk. A bit high tier for what I need, but that's fine. And then the fluid ducts. All right, I forgot there's like that one I just made that takes both fluids and power. There we go, I need to put a servo on it so it doesn't just take random stuff. Still way higher tier than I need, but that's fine. Oh man, power cables. I can't believe I'm out of power cables. I made so much of this shit that I never had to Whatever, it can happen. Advance. Universal cables. There we go. Boom. This stuff first. Then you make this stuff. Alright. Yep. And that should fix the power crisis. There we go. So now that's on, that's doing this field. If it sees anything grow, it'll put them down. So this side, I wanna go ahead and make sure I have my Draconics. Plant it. 
Uh, do I have any more draconic seeds? Draconic, I do, thankfully. So let's say I want about this much in terms of draconic going. You know, this much in terms of draconic. Next up, I'm gonna want diamonds, because I'm gonna need diamonds. And, you know, a little bit more diamond seeds. That doesn't help. Um, hurts. Diamond seeds. There we go. So I want this much in terms of diamond seeding. So I got four draconic, three of diamonds. Actually, let me get more diamonds. So, eight draconics, eight diamonds, that sounds good. Uranium, I'm also gonna need a lot of this for power. So, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that sounds good to me. Now, any other seeds that I want to make sure I have growing on mass? Um, apple seeds I won't need. All right, yeah, I'm gonna need stone seeds, nether seeds. All right, let me go ahead and get those going. It's annoying because that's going to be, they are going to be needed for the sake of crafting. Stone seeds and nether seeds. Stone seeds. Which is this. Ah, oh, you forget. I don't have any Inferium. I really not have Inferium. Wow. Dip. 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 And. There we go. Alright, so stone seeds, boom. One, two, three, four of these. Sounds good. Stone seeds done. Now I'm going to need nether seeds. Which requires nether clusters. Four. I need like I'm seriously out of soul sand? Are you kidding me? Fine, I'll just make three of these things. One, two, three. Alright. Nether seeds done. Now I'm going to need uh skeleton seeds. I need more of these chunks here, so let me go ahead and... I didn't craft all my things into tier 3, so I need to make tier 3 chunks. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I need to craft 3 of them into tier 6. So... One, two, three. One skeleton seed. I'm gonna need more of these later on, but it's fine. Because I got the magical fertilizer, so if I need more, I can make more. And I don't have enough water essence. I need one more water essence. Are you fucking with me? 
Ouch. Right, that's fine. So let me go ahead and put the stone seeds down. Two, three, four. Put the nether seeds down. Come on, I need another seed. Can you give me another seed? Uh, another seed. There we go. Oh, so that's four nether seeds. Done. So I got the soul seeds for... I mean, I got the nether seeds for soul sand. I have the stone seeds for the stones I'm going to need in order to make... The soul stone that I'm going to need in order to make the soul dust I'm going to need in order to make the blank skulls. Yeah, because that makes no fucking sense. Right, you. Just gonna keep going until I get lots and lots of seeds from you. That's all, mate. I need more than that. Come on. Can I get one more? Come on. One more. One more. Don't be stingy. There we go. Alright, so that's the skeleton seeds done. Oh boy. And it's not enough. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I know this thing is just not gonna grow. I'm just gonna put this nether star seed over there. Maybe if I get lucky, it'll actually grow. layers of this stuff. Come on, let me get some skeleton seeds. Can you do that? Like, you're dropping the essence. Can I get the seeds? Just want the seeds. Come on. Come on. Well, at least I got lots of the essence. Because I think I want, like, two rows of that. Sounds good. I'll put the wither seeds over here. And let me see. Don't think I can craft a magical essence. Ah, uh, look at that. At least the wither seeds are generous. There we go. Now, I think there's something called auto crafters. Because I do want to get those online. Um, auto crafters. What the? Fuck? Auto crafters. Alright, auto crafting station from Ancient Warfare. Auto crafting bench from Project Red. Crafting card for that. Crafting station disk blocks. Access the wait. This plus access the auto crafting. Uh, what does it take to make you? Can I make you electric like alloy? I saw you can take stone bricks. I got the stone bricks, and I go ahead smelt this thing. You can go in there. Now what time I get back up there? I should now have that alloy that I needed. Alloy. There you go. What the hell gives? Oh, it's any type of stone. Okay. Damn it. Alright, fine. Go ahead and put some damn cobblestone in the system. Oh, note to self, I also have to make those blitz seeds before I get too distracted. Cooking 
We're going to need quite a few of them as well. Alright, so blitz seeds require that recipe. Yes, I need four of these. One, two, three. Only had enough for three. One more. Okay, and... Oh shit, am I out of blitz rods? Run. Oh yeah, I'm out of blitz rods. Fuck. Damn it! Alright, fine. Freezing dull. I need one of you. Did I need blazing pyrotium? Hold on, let me check my system, make sure I don't have any already. Uh, oh wait, I know what I can do. Bucket. Because luckily... Haha, ah, this thing's filled with blazing pyrotium. So I put that in there. And any day now, it will spawn me a um, blitz. I killed a blitz with my luck three sword here, one hit KO. And that should hopefully deliver two of these damn rods. Because I want to cool my um, bigger reactor with that. Um... There we go. I want to kill the bigger reactor at um, Jellet Cryotium. There we go. Awesome, and now I can make the blitz seeds. Boom! Nice. And now then, um, I have no further purpose for this, except, hold on. So that gives me two. Or I can just put the blitz rod in there and get four of them automatically. Ooh. Yeah, that might be a better call. Oh, I only had the one. Well, let me get four instead of just two. There you go. And then if I look on the UKs for you. Now it gives me the cryotium dust. And then I take the cryotium dust and I smelt that down. And that'll give me more of this gelat cryotium. The most coldest substance within this game. Because once I do that, so once I fill up that tank, I'm going to use a um, fluid pump to fill this um, reactor in. The only thing I have to worry about is like these crisscross, because obviously that won't get filled in. But that's fine. That's just flying in with a bucket. And you just put it down, put it down, put it down. That's all. Alright, so how much are you holding? So five and a half buckets right now. So barely anything. Alright, oh right, that essence. Can I make that essence? Uh, let me see. What's it called? Magic? No. Um, essence. This stuff, can it be made? Nope. It can only come from plants. Great. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, um, uh, that case there. Growth. Hold on, let me make sure I don't have any of these in here. Oh, I have... So... 
this calls the nether stars, which I don't have. Fuck. Oh, then. Oh, then. I know. Suck it. I know what to do. Water. You come here. Fly over here. Got an idea. So I'm going to be taking this back. Sorry, plants. Got to live without it for a little bit. And there we go. Now, where the hell is my thing? There's my thing. All right, so now the reason why I had to snatch that from the plants is so that I can use it for these more important plants. My infirmium, which I do need, like, um, these to grow slightly faster than normal. So that will take up that growth rate a bit. These blitz seeds, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm definitely gonna want multiple layers of that. So I'll put the blitz seeds there. So that way the skeleton seeds can go all the way to there, and then the wither seeds can go all the way to there. And hopefully that will produce enough for what I need. So now then, let me go ahead and get that auto crafter because I think you can put recipes in the auto crafter. There we go. All right, I think. Let me put it down. Oh, uh, yep. So I think it could take up to like nine recipes. I hope. Auto crafting bench. Uh, let me see. It's from Project Red expansion. At Project Red expansion. Because you have things like these importer, placers, filters, charging bench. Diamond block breaker. I think it's just a case of it needs power, but you can give it recipes and it'll do the recipes. I'll put it downstairs where my crafting network is at. Maybe not here. So let me put it somewhere where it'll be close to the network. I'll put it here. Okay, does not accept power. Doesn't accept RF. Yeah. says it needs power, but it does not accept RF. So what type of power do you need? Mm. Hold well on, guys. Uh, I'm just going to check some real quick. Auto crafting bench. Crafting bench, uh, let me see. On a crafting bench is a project from it. It can be used in conjunction with a rotted interface pipe item crafting chips for automatic crafting. If the modded chem mod, the auto crafting bench can be decomposed with into chemicals with chem mods. Requires electrical low power to operate, which can supply with low line power lines. Oh, shit. Fuck. 
So this requires a type of power that I'm not crafting at all. Great. That's useless. Uh, crafting. Upgrade. Crafting upgrades will schedule a crafting test when the item being used in a device is needed but not available. By using this upgrade, the amount is... Okay. So let me try that then. Let me try that. Uh, crafting. Upgrade. And I need the one for refined storage, which is made like that. Just throw that in there. Really? Put that in there, and that should automatically cook it. Boom. I have a singular upgrade. And now... Of course, because why would I have the thing that I need? Crafting upgrade. Crafting on demand. So can I put that in here? No. Do I have to put that at the main station? Okay. So, how does this works? Doesn't go into any of these upgrades. Slots. So, I can tell it to craft the things that it's exporting if it needs to be crafted. That's great and all, but that's kind of not what I'm looking for. That was useless. Absolutely useless. Great. How much essence do I have? Uh, not much of this magical stuff. Alright, uh, can I get a bit more blitz? All of it used and didn't get any more seeds. Great. And this thing's dead. Why is this thing always dead? It's like this wireless grid, right? Has become the most useless thing ever because every time I need it, it's dead. It's always dead for some reason. I'm like, why are you dead? And it's just like, I don't know. I'm just dead. Ooh, more skeleton seeds. I'm going to need that. More wither seeds. Going to need that. I haven't got any more blitz seeds, unfortunately. Alright, yeah. So let me go ahead and put the skeleton the seeds down. Where the seeds can go here. My nether star seed still at zero percent. Has not grown one iota. I hope it's not like some bullshit like, oh, tier 6 seeds require this special dirt to grow on, and if it's not present, it won't grow. Apt mystical... Agra... Add on. I'm not seeing like any type of special dirt for it. Just 
Okay, what are these crux for? Do I need a crux to get that thing to grow? Like, will it not grow without the presence of this crux? Um, nether star crux? Nether star seeds. Nether star seed is a tier seed seed added by Mystical Ashoka. You can be placed on farmland with a nether crux on it to grow the nether car when fully grown. It can be harvested for. Ooh. This crux has to be under the seed. That's why it's not growing. Oh. Shit. Welcome back, Flock. So I just finally figured out why my Nether Star C won't grow. So it needs this thing called a Nether Star Crux. And that needs to be underneath the thing. Otherwise, my Nether Seed will not grow. Damn it. And I need two Nether Stars for that. Damn it, all the hell. Alright, looks like I'm going ahead to fight the... Well, there's again. Of course I don't have any skulls. Alright. Put this away. Down to go back into hell. As I gotta go and kill the withers, get a couple of more wither stars. Mate, why are you here? Wait, why didn't I kill you? How the fuck did you live that? Well, don't know how that thing lived, but I do know it's dead. Is that? Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, it's fine as long as I figure out why my thing wasn't growing. Now I know why the thing wasn't growing. I can go ahead, travel into hell, get that Nether Star Crux, put it underneath my Nether Star Seed, and that should get my Nether Star Seed to grow. Alright, Withers, where are you at? I need six of you bastards, like, right now. You're gonna give me your skull. That's one of them. I said I need Withers, okay? I didn't need Blazes. I don't need Blazes, okay? I need Withers. Alright, do you not understand, you stupid-ass Blaze? Not Blaze. Withers, okay? Your cooler friend. From a different mother. I need that. Stop existing and give me my damn withers. Now, where's my withers at? Yeah. Where's my wither? Where's my wither? Where's my withers at? Where's my wither? Where's my wither? Where's my withers at? Yo. 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 Okay, I'll stop that. But I need withers. Gosh darn it. I can get the withers, I can get the nether seed to grow. It'll make all my pain and suffering worth it. No, stop. I think it's annoying with all this yelling and screaming. Cool hat, bro. But, you see, his thing. If I can get a wither, that'd be much cooler, you know? Any withers? Can you please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. If you're black and you're skelly and you'll make the people wither it, please stand up. Please stand up. There we go, finally. Oh my gosh, do you know how hard it was to find you? Taste instantaneous death for making me search for you. Stop it. Uh, I'm getting so much more. Oh, Withers, where are you? I just want to slaughter you. 
Is that too much to ask for? You know, I expect to come into hell, see your damn burnt-ass skeletons, and then kill you guys. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. And you guys are like, no, we're going to make that like super difficult. Like, super easy tasks. And I just, ah, oh, fuck. And this guy has to stand in fire. Of course he has to stand in fire. Hey, there's, where the fuck are ya? Just let me kill you. Withers, where are you? Let me kill you. Just let me kill you. Stop it. Alright, that's one. I need three more. Can three more of you fucks just spawn so I can send you to hell instantly? Or back to hell since you're already in hell? Can I re-hell you? Is that a thing? Will that ever be a thing? Can you withers please show the fuck up so I can slaughter you? No, stop. You don't get to exist. Oh my gosh, where are these fucking mothers at? Of course you're not a fucking wither. Why would you be a wither? Why would you be a wither? Fuck off! Withers, come on. Oh, wither, 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 can't you see? I just want to come and kill all the ye. There we go. Ah, come on. I hope it's like you guys aren't spawning because there's too many other stuff here. Alright, that's six. Come on. Oh, there we go. Come on. I know you're like, but I'm not a wither, I'm a skeleton. No, you're definitely a wither. You are definitely a wither. Now that's done. Then I need to get eight souls in. No way! Burp. Alright, so now then, I go ahead and I slaughter these withering bastards. And let me slaughter them. Damn, where do I slaughter these things? Brandon! What up, did it Ness or did Deebs? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. You have, you know, not even a question. How have you been? How are you doing, mate? Hold on, let me just do a quick little cheeky little shout out real quick. There we go. Cheeky shout out. There's done. I'm good. Finally got my internet working in my room. Ew. Gotta hate the hair of that. I had to run like 50 foot Ethernet cables and get a splitter. Hey, at least you're hardwired now, so you don't have to worry about Wi Fi crapping out just because you're slightly too far away from the router. It's like, it's what I tell people when I used to work in tech support. If you can wire your thing up, wire your thing up. Yes, the wire is like a bit annoying, but here's the thing, right? Oh fuck, where's the star? Where's the star? Where's the star? Did I get a star? Oh fuck, where's the star? Um, oh shit, cause there's that fucking lava coming down. Oh, I got the star. Okay, it's too dangerous to spawn with us over here. If I would've lost that star, I'd be so freaking nettle. That's good to hear. So, does that mean you'll be returning to streaming, then? It does all this fucking go, mate. So, what's the plans? Because, you know, also a new mic, let's fucking go. 
Anyway, so what's the plan about what you're going to stream, though? Like, I hate to break it to you, but Fall Guys, it's kind of died off. Like, I'm still up for it if you're up for it, but it's like... You know, I think that new update came out a little bit too late. And it doesn't help that the developers were kind of a little bit cocky as all fucking hell. Especially when it came to, like, the cheating thing. It's like, dude, you have, like, a major problem with the cheating thing. You're gonna act like, ah, oh, we perfectly have this in control. Like, the fuck you on, mate? Oh, there's my was it, star. I'm going to make a schedule for streaming and stuff. There we go. That's what's up, dudes. That's what's up. Man, that wasn't funny. That was just sad. That was, like, real sad. It's like you're playing this game that's honestly, like, I don't know. All that's missing is a Nintendo badge to be a Nintendo game. You know, everybody's coming in, they're just having fun, they're just being silly. And then you're like, well, I'm gonna turn on fly mode here. And then the developer's response, it's... It's basically a Nintendo game. Like, I'm really surprised that it was released on PlayStation versus, like, um... The Switch, but hey. I ain't gonna complain. But point being, it's like, you know, it's like the super happy, cherry, fun game where everybody's basically just this stupid block person that can barely stand up straight. And then some toxic ass motherfuckers just like, turn on fly mode, engage. And then you have like the people who be grabbing people at the finish line. Or then you have the toxic fucks who not only fly, but will go ahead and just like, you know, fly. But also grab people so they can just drag their ass off. Ah, I fucking hated that so much. Fucking hated that, mate. And it's like, you really got nothing better to do with your life than to cheat and what's essentially just Wipeout? It's like the video game equivalent of a Wipeout. It was until it was like... Now, it's like, you know, the sad thing is, is like when it's a team game and you have that person cheating, so the other team gives up to not let the cheater win. And it's like, you know, the people who gives up as soon as they see that flying hacker, so that flying hacker can't win, them real MVPs, because they got to sacrifice their win because of some flying hacker bullshit. Okay, that's the real MVP there. Unless that fight, um, fucking hacker makes it to the final round, so it's just like, haha, I made it to the final round. So now I can just fly to the end, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom all over this shit. It's like, oh, well, fuck you too, you fucking flying hacker bitch. But yeah, so what's the plan? Like, are you going spell break? Are you continuing the, um, Fall Guys? Do you have a new game altogether in mind? What's the plan there, Bren? Not 100% sure. Alright. Yeah, yes. Alright, I hope this thing was worth it. A different game, like a playthrough or something, just to practice. I'm pretty much up for anything. I want to do different things on different days. Okay, so you're planning to be a variety streamer. Bro, my stream has been loading for five minutes. Refresh your page. Well, that slime didn't live long. Yeah, just for starting. Yeah, that's fine. Let's stream a whole bunch of things. See what brings in an audience. And if something brings in an audience, you stick with that thing and make it like your thing. I want to have, like, Tuesday be something, Thursday be something else. Just did barely helping. Well, I can't help you with your internet, man. Alright, is this thing got a fucking grill? There, my gosh, fucking shit. It's finally 
growing. It's finally fucking growing. After waiting so damn long. It's finally growing. You know, you'll know the joys of a plant that finally grows. I spent so much time trying to make this thing grow. I went through hell to make this thing grow. But now, my first ever nether star essence. It's a thing. It's a fucking thing. Just makes me sad. Ah, oh, flock, don't be sad, because sad spelled backwards is des, and that's bad. And yes, I totally stole that line from someone else. Sue me. Alright, there we go. That thing's full. Put that in there. I want to talk to the homies and talk about the Pixavon experience. What experience? Yep, and now, what am I doing? You, and you on that. Alright, so now the system now knows how to make nether stars using the nether essence, the gem battles. What, are you trying to say the battles weren't legit? Is that what you're trying to say? Cause I think offense is that damn. With TNT. Look, there's nothing wrong with destroying a gem with a shit ton of TNT once you complete the gem. Okay, you don't need it anymore, so you just get rid of it. That's all. It's 100% fair and legit. It was kind of overkill. Nah. I mean, they all lived in the end. And living is half the battle. Alright, and uh, now then. Actually, I made all those patterns for reasons. Because it's time to implement. So, for wither. Skull. I want to tell it to use this recipe here. Boom. So now it knows how to make a wither skull. But also, I gotta tell it to, hey, this thing here. Boom. You now know how to make blink skulls. Also, gotta tell it that uh, for this thing here. Boom. You now know how to make bone blocks. I kind of lost the wheel to build a house now. That's not the point. They are homeless now. <laughs> eh. I mean, hey. It, should I care? Well, you gotta think about it. Like, with Pixelmon, you're not really supposed to build a base. Like, maybe a farm, and that's it. But you're kind of supposed to be like something of a nomad. Constantly traveling the line looking for that next Pokemon battle at the next Pokemon battle. Like, if it was regular Minecraft, I would understand wanting to build a house, but. Alright. And is there any way for me to make bone blocks? Nope. So I gotta tell it to. Oops. So now I have to tell it. Then in order to make the blink skulls, it needs this, which needs the bone meal, which needs this recipe here. So it now knows that you can crush up bones, get bone meal. Um, 
Pixelon is just Pokemon in Minecraft. So, yeah, it's every Pokemon from Gym 1 to Gym 8, Dynamax, uh, Mecha Evolutions, Boss Battles, Gyms, Quests, all that shabazz. Right today, uh, flock. So here's the thing about us fighting. You know, don't hate me and all, but flock. So you see, the moment you like disconnect it, a legendary spawn, and I might have gotten a legendary flock. And it's a water fighting legendary. I forget his name, but it starts with a K. Well then, I hope that like the fucking pulverizer doesn't yield more. Ah, oh, it does. It does. Oh, pulverizer will give me twice as many for the bones. Like there is kilos. There's. Keto, that second one. Keto, um, Keto deal. That's the one I caught. So, yeah. I got that thing now. That's gonna be my new water type. Alright, so now that that's Keto. Celdio. I got Celdio, okay? That's gonna be my new water type. And you can feel free to hate all you want, but I got that. Alright, but anyway. Keldeo. Then fine, I got Keldeo. Gosh darn it, how many times do I gotta say this stupid word? You know what Pokemon I'm talking about. So it basically, like, pretty much, you know, kicked my team's ass. So what I did was I suffocate the damn thing. And then I threw, like, all my damn Pokeballs at it until it finally stayed in my Pokeballs. And that's how I got it. Proudest moment. Ever. Okay, so now then. Should I have announced for the blitz? Oh, no, I gotta make the blitz rods. Do I have enough of this? I do. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you I can make blitz rods like that. Now, I think the. That wasn't cheats. It was the exact moment you logged out. It spawned, and I threw Pokeballs at it. Oh, you mean like bury it in sand? Hey, that is Pixelmon's fault. It allowed me to bury the damn thing in sand, so I did. Haters gonna hate. Lovers gonna love. But I don't even give a fuck about none of the above. I kicked that thing's ass. I didn't know that Permafrost has a chance to give me Blitz Powder. A centrifuge separator, a sag mill can also do it. Ooh, but it looks like it requires a flint. Ah, uh, it requires a grinding bone. You know what I could just do? Just make like a pulverizer just to tell the system that if it gets bones or blitz um, rods to put it into this specific pulverizer. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So that way I can maximize on my bones and blitz rods. Uh, pulverizer. My flock, you can hate all you want, but it doesn't change the fact that I got it. Impact, wow, flock can't handle, so he leaves. Okay, I see how it is.
You can't handle the fact that I got that legendary. It's like, nah, mate. I'm out of here. I don't know what I'm challenging. There are gems. That's literally what Flock was talking about, about me destroying a grass gem with a shit ton of TNT after I was done with it. Upgrade. Kit. All I'm gonna say is like, you know, I think of it like, you know, cleaning up the environment. How does the gym work? Is there a storyline or they're random? So they're randomly placed, but the further away you get from spawn, the higher level the gyms will be. And once you beat like four gyms, the game takes notice of that based upon how many like um, gym badges you have. And it will begin to give you gyms that are certain amount levels higher than your strongest level Pokemon. Okay, 10, two, three, and then copper, nine, and a, a creeper drowned, okay. I'm 100% a-okay with that. This is really becoming a convoluted mess. Like, I think I have way too much shit here. Oh, I already had browns. Whoops. Yeah, of course I'm streaming till 9 o'clock. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 1900 to 2100 hours for those who live in the area without a 12 hour time format. Go ahead and upgrade that, throw that in there, make some glass. Go ahead, take this out. Oops, just threw some ingots. You know, who else doesn't throw like some copper ingots around in a fit of rage? And possibly 11, cause I wanna do my workout, but I also wanna have this world just running in the background so shit can, you know, generate. Because resources be tight, mate. This is fused quartz. Oh no, it's hardened quartz. Whoops, did not need that. So hardened is lead and obsidian. Do I even have any obsidian left? I do, but I gotta grind it. Fuck. All right, I can throw you in there. How fast are you gonna be to grind up some obsidian? Oh, it's horrible. Okay, and that should be, and now I put these two in here. All right, takes too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, nope. Take you out. Boom, boom. There we go. Alright, so now then. Alright, I only have one hardened obsidian. Hardened glass, I meant. Well, unless it's using fused glass. I'm gonna be so freaking nettle if it's using fused glass. There we go. Bada boom, bada bang, bada koonish. There we go. Upgrade to that tier. Now the stellium. Ooh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Don't have any of that. Let's Ross crafts ish. Sure. Boom. 
So I got this stuff, but I want to throw it into here. Because I'll get more out of it. And then I'm going to make the augments that gives me, um, well, make this thing just run faster. Go and there you go. Now signalium requires what? Ten redstone, one silver, three coppers. Make four of these bitch. So I'm just gonna take 20 of those things, two silvers, two, and then what was it? The last one, copper. And six of these bitches, there we go. So what am I doing is basically I'm making a pulverizer because I'm going to tell the computer to just, wherever it sees like um, blitz rods or bones, to automatically just put in this pulverizer here to crush that shit up. Why did I come back here? So automatically crush that shit up for me. Oh, I forgot this thing's slow as fuck. Oh, this could be made multiplayer. Like, if I want to set this up on a server, I can set this up on a server, and it's plenty of consideration given to, like, multiplayer. The only thing is, my computer would not be able to handle running a server for this, as well as me playing it, and then someone else joining that server. There's, like, 287, like, uh, mods I'm using right now. Yeah, but I like how you can stream, like, like doing stuff. Oh, yeah, you can streamline crafting, you can streamline resource gathering, like, for instance, Brandon, like, if I come up here, let me give you the tour, you know, I have, like, these farms here, where they're automatically being bred, so chickens, automatically being bred, cows and sheep, automatically being bred, pigs, automatically being bred, once they are, they're separated from their parents, and then put into a pen, where they automatically be slaughtered, so that's, like, automatic food production right there. And then, and then, like over here, I have automatic plants. So, for instance, I got carrots automatically growing cotton because I need string automatically growing, but I got wheat here, you know, so I can automatically feed those. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, there's a mod in here called the Hats mod, and that's where that creeper came from with his troll face. So, if I press H and I search for T's. Oh, you can't see it because I'm wearing like cool armor that. I'll wear a tree on my head. So, you know, there are like hats. This armor is how I'm able to fly right now without going into cheats as well. Like, there's even stuff like emotes, so, you know. If I were to go into, like, F5 mode. You know, I have emotes. Do they make any sense? No, of course not. Do they exist? Yes, they do. You know, like these things I'm running past. Like, you know, my smeltery here is for all my cool tools here. So all this stuff here that's been killing things in one hit are guaranteeing me mob heads. Like my cleaver here has a 100% chance, well, it has a 10 time multiplier on beheading something. Or me taking their skulls here. My shurikens can not only hit enemies, but stop them from teleporting and give me their shit. It also gets faster the longer I keep throwing them down. I got a hammer here for like mass mining. I got pickaxe for rapid mining. I got a sword to one hit kill stuff. Okay. 
it's lithium enchantment called beheading. I have like a nuclear reactor. Like that's what this is. This is a cooler, a cooler for a nuclear reactor here. That's what this thing is. Although that reactor, my nuclear tower reactor is too small. So I'm making a bigger nuclear reactor for more nuclear power. Cause I need it. Okay. This system here, just my auto crafting system. Um, so there is a nuclear craft here, so I can't cause nuclear fallout. Actually, wait a second. Is nuclear craft here? Because if it's here, I can cause nuclear fallout. Um, nope, nuclear craft is not here. So I can, like, you know, fuck up the reactors and make them melt down and release toxic waste upon the world. But without nuclear craft, I can't make nuclear reactors. I do have a chemistry mod, so if I wanted to make drugs, I can make drugs in Minecraft. So less of like um, half flight, more of Breaking Bad. But anyway, I'm gonna need an interface. Enter, David. I don't have one. Not fluid, regular interface. Of course, I have like nothing to make this thing. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Just make a whole stack of this shit so I can just have it on mass. There we go. And then I'm gonna need this thing here. Oh my gosh, probably so much shit that I don't have. Why do I not have this already? Of course. Yeah. The reason why I don't have this shit is because I didn't tell my system to craft that shit. There, craft ten of those shits. Craft me ten of these shits. Craft me ten of this shit. Alright. So stop the worry. Um, so a lot of the technical mods, like all the technical mods, require some source of power. And luckily, there's a universal form of power in this mod pack called Redstone Flux. That's why I have my nuclear reactor forum. It's just to make a shit ton of redstone flux. So I basically always have it on demand when I need it. And the mod pack that I'm trying to do in order to finish up the series here is called Draconic. And Draconic needs power on mass, like a shit ton of power and diamonds and nether stars. Why is there a echoey nose with my mouse? Okay. Yeah, there's like an echoey noise with my mouse for some reason. But yeah, so that's why I have all the nuclear stuff. It's just for power. Alright, so now then. So I have that there, and put these cables here. So this is now wired up. So now what I can do is I can tell the system that if it sees bones, or blitz rods, um, craft one for me. There you go. If it sees that, just to put them in this specific pulverizer here. So I need to change. There you go. Deactivate all our exits. Enable automatic input and ejection. So now if it sees um, any blitz rods, I'll put them in here. If it sees any bones, I'll put them in there. And there we go. And that's, this is for automatic wither productions, because like I said, I'm gonna need like nether stars, but I can't just keep going to the end, slaying withers, slicing their heads off and making like new, 
whether it's that way. So what I'm going to do is use the power of magical crops to basically grow the wither skulls and soul sand for me and to create withers that will be automatically slaughtered by a machine. So that way, I just have that stuff whenever I need that stuff. Uh, do I have any lumen? Of course I don't. Why would I keep this stuff in demand? What does it take? Glowstone, silver, and tin. That's crazy. So I'm guessing you can do that with, like, anything? Um, well, yeah, if I have any mod out there that I really need the resource from it, I can use magical crops or magical agriculture, mystical agriculture, to get what I need en masse. The only thing is it requires a shit ton of setup. And one silver to 310. Okay. Then, and I'll make all the silvers from the same mod. Boop, boop, boop. I think I got that wrong. Nope, I got it right. Also, one thing I didn't show you off while I was doing the quick show round. Oh, uh, this is the meat tank, by the way. So all those animals that get slaughtered up, they get grinded up and made into pink slime, which is this stuff, and liquid meat. Which I didn't like put in a needle and that keeps it so I don't have to eat. So if my hunger goes down even by a little bit, the food would be taken out of this, injected into my blood flow, and now keep it so I don't have to eat. It also prevents like withering from doing any real damage to me because it keeps my saturation maxed out. And this thing over here is my laser drill. What it does is it mines every dimension looking for orbs, ores, and it um, puts it in my system here. So that's how I get away with not really digging or mining. But I have so much in terms of ores because that thing is just over here mining every dimension to get that for me. All right, but I'm being super distracted. Hurry the fuck up, mate. That's my problem with the alloy smelter. It's just so slow. It's like you have a gobs of power, just absolute gobs of power, and it's just like, God, I'm slow as fuck. Oh, I mean, this thing needs speed upgrade. Uh, let me do that so it moves a bit faster. Uh, gosh, there we go. Fucking hell, that took forever. It's like taking a shit, but it's like a super big shit. So, you know, you're just going... Nah! To a point like you're fucking shitting out a goddamn lung. But it's still taking like forever for that shit to come out. That's basically the alloy smelter. It's like taking a shit at the end of being constipated. Okay, so now then I need speed augmentations for this. To make it go even faster. Uh, mutations. Um, oh shit, I forgot about that. Drill speed. This is for the laser drill. I think it's for the laser drill. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. What I need is this. Hmm? Increase the chances of secondary output, which I want. And this is just increase the chances of speed. So I want two of these. Fuck. One, two. One, two. And I want two of these. Ah, oh, fuck. This thing required bronze, and I don't have bronze on me. 
Oh, I have just enough. Sweet. So I put that in here in the augmentation slots. And there we go. So it makes it run faster, just choose through more power, but that's fine. I have a nuclear reactor for a reason. This increases the chances of secondary stuff, while this increase this makes the machine run faster. So now when I tell the blitz stuff to go through there, there's more chances of me getting snowballs from it. Alright, so now then, uh, what is this? Mods can definitely help. Like, if you played Minecraft to death, and you've done, like, everything you can done, you know, you fought the wither, yeah. Like, um... Decrease chill death, increase chill death. All the way, okay? All the way. Or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Laser drill is foreign technology, as far as I give a damn. But, you know, it's like... Modern Minecraft is great when you played regular Minecraft to death. And you've done, like, all the things that you can possibly do. You built your mech mansions, you did a woodland mansion, you fought the wither, you fought the ender dragon, and now you're just waiting for like 1.17 to come around. It's like you can just play my Minecraft, experience the nether, experience mountains, biomes, creatures, extra dimensions. You know, that's when you get into like my Minecraft. Uh, Kyrotium. And now, let's put that in there. Can you switch between vanilla and this? Yes. So all this is is a, so this comes from a mod pack launcher. Well, the, the mod pack launchers launches Minecraft, but puts all the mods on top of it. But you still have regular um, vanilla Minecraft on the PC. And what do I have? Only seven and a half bucket. No, that's increasing. Is it gone through all of it yet? Nah, I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. Because when it comes to reactors, you need to cool them down, and I'm making the best cooling you can make in Minecraft. The coldest, well, modern Minecraft, which is called Gellet Cryotium, which is basically the coldest stuff in Minecraft. It can basically freeze you to death. Which means if you ignore powder snow, I'm basically making powder snow before Mojang introduced powder snow in 1.17. But you know, it's like, hey guys, you want a diamond? So I can just grow diamonds. Like this is some broken ass economy here. But that's fine, because that's how I fucking love it. But yeah, so basically I'm making a um, Gellet Kyrotium, because I'm going to fill this with it. And this should make like a shit ton of power. Or be more precise, a shit ton of heat. Because I don't need to make power, I need to make it. I need it to make heat on mass. Just taking out some nuclear stuff here. I really should hook this up so that it has stuff feeding in automatically towards it. And let me make an importer and an exporter. And do I have any importers? Nope. But, yeah. So if you've been wondering what I've been doing this entire stream, I'm basically just sorting out power. 
because Draconic Evolution needs power. Lots of power, and I'm about to give it lots of power. Okay, not quite unlimited power, but lots of fucking power. Alright, so two importers. I want to say, what is this? Is this coolant or access? Okay, that's access, so I need one there. And. Doo -doo -doo. And I need one here. And what that will do is basically just takes out the byproduct of my nuclear reactor here. And escort it out the system for me. Oops, so well. So put that there, and I need cables. There you go. So now the access from the system here is being taken out the system. It's got bus a hole there, bus a hole there, bus a hole there, and a hole here. Running along the roof here. And let's a damn plumber. I am literally a damn plumber. Well, technically that would be networking right now. I'm just hooking up all the Ethernet cables. Getting those ready. Although this does transfer things at a ridiculously high rate, slightly faster than Ethernet. Oops, why did I take that out? And now, do I have any exporters? No, nope. why would I have exporters? You know, I really should put these damn crafting recipes in the system. Too lazy for that. Two. And now. So this is just going to tell my computer to automatically put fuels into the nuclear reactors. Because they can make the fuel. Like, that's the thing here. It's like. I can magically grow what is my fuel for my system here. Fuck. Fuck. And since I can just, you know, magically grow what is the fuel for my system. I can just tell it to constantly uh, fuel the reactor, which constantly keeps the system online and keeps everything working. There we go. Snap the back and crack the spine. All right, so now that's that system. Um, need to tell it to uranium. If it sees any uranium in the system, just go ahead and fill this up. So I'll keep the nuclear reactor filled. Well, nuclear reactor one. And then this is nuclear reactor two. There we go. So that's done. I at least got that out the way. So now then let me also get the fluid lines operational. Ooh, I'm running out of the good shit. That's not good. That's not good. I want the good shit. OK, 
Can I make more of the good shit? Cause I need to add good shit. Signal no yum. Nah, not gonna take that. Uh, fluid ducks. I want the Siglam transparent shit. Do I have the shit on mass? Oh, I need to get more of the shit. Cause this is that good shit. Alright, um, let me make sure I got this right. So, the only thing that should be coming out the system is Steam. So, I'm going to hook this up to the Steam line. Which is not that pipe, but this pipe. I'm just going to go ahead and fuck. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to go ahead and end this episode here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and let the server keep running, hook up all the pipelines, make some more Gellic Chiroteum, and probably an Intermedium, uh, fill up the reactor, or try to fill it up at least. But as of right now, I'm going to have to go ahead. You got to end. Well, these are like two-hour streams, man. They do get uploaded to like YouTube, so for anything you miss, you can just tune into the VODs over at my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash click piece of best. Or since you're watching this live, you can use XMA from my YouTube to get that link. And yes, all good things do come to an end. Makes sense. Well, I'll be around a lot more now. I def play some games and hang out soon. That is good to hear, Brandon. Yeah, we're gonna you as well. Anyway, um, at least stick around for the raid. But anyway, guys, if you like this type of content and you'd like to see more of it, please be sure to tune in live Monday through Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 1700 to 1900. I mean. 1900 to 2100 hours for those of you who live in the area with a 12 hour time format where you can catch these streams live. If you'd like to catch up on anything that you missed, you can tune into my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash click be the best because you know I am. You can use exclamation mark YouTube to get that link. You can also use exclamation mark Discord to get that link. So you can come into the Discord and have um, chill out with some after hour shenanigans. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. For those of you watching the VODs, this is where I say bye, internet.